All right, all right. So we're gonna work on skin tones today. Now, I kind of feel like Goldilocks. Some days in my studio it's real hot, and then some days it's really cold. So today's one of those cold days. Welcome to Texas. You never know what you're gonna get. So, um, got a little heater running in here, so hopefully that feels better for me. Now again, we're gonna be using uh, the same kind of colors that I've used to do my color wheel, all right? Or my color chart. So, most of you have done this project, great. I'm very pleased that you've gotten that far. And hopefully you saw uh, the cutout I did. Now remember, you can do a cutout or you can do uh, colors, it's, it's your call. Um, like I said, I think the colors are easier than the cutout. That cutout took me some time. So I'm gonna make a quick video um, with this portion, okay, of my image and I'm going to do um, a color chart with that. I'm also gonna have in this video some examples of <clears throat> prior students' work to help you kind of see how this all kind of comes together. Now, when we look at our colors, okay, I have a brown here. Um, this is, you know, a lot of people think, well, I'm African American in my courses and I just need the brown. There's more to skin tone than one tone. If you're white and you go, oh, I just need the white, okay? And when you really look at skin, okay, you see my skin has a little bit of yellow to it, a little bit of orange, okay, a little bit of red, okay, and a little bit of light blue, okay? especially like in the veins and areas in my hand, okay? <clears throat> but that's getting technical. So we're gonna start with the basics, okay? On how to do skin, okay? The first thing you need to understand is red, yellow, and orange makes a brown color, okay? <clears throat> that color is different than this color of brown, all right? And it's important that you understand that because you can add more or take away less depending on your skin tone, all right? Now, when you think about black and gray, this is valuing, okay? White is also part of the value scale. These three help bring in contrast, all right? All right, it's not how much brown is in your skin, it's how much contrast you have in your skin tone. Now, there's all different types of tones and skin, so I'm going to do a kind of a, a wide range of skin tone to kind of understand this. Um, and I'm going to kind of make the most simplistic video for this, okay? There are tons of videos out there on YouTube on how to do skin tone. The trick to this is to keep it as simple as possible, okay, for for you guys to understand this, okay? And once you get once you start to understand it, then you can get into the complex videos of people with red skin tones, yellow skin tones, um, and then there's there's yellow, green, blue, uh, and uh, and red. Those are the three four colors that are basics of skin um, and then depending on the regions of where people are from some people that are african-american that are from nigeria have a very dark color in their skin but they also have purple blue okay in their skin tone okay so if you're from nigeria these skin tones are going to be in these base colors okay so you're in this wide spectrum okay but you need to start with your base okay that's the key all right if you're Italian okay you're gonna have a lot of olive in your skin uh, Mediterranean Egyptian okay have a lot of uh, uh, this in their tone okay mixed with a lot of white okay and gray as their tone okay so this right here is going to be more uh, Mediterranean kind of a feel okay if you're more Irish okay 
you're going to be in this range, okay, of tone. But actually, you might even be less with this. I would even take out a lot of the orange, okay? So if you're Irish, English uh, descent, okay, you're going to have this kind of range, okay? More white than the base colors, all right? If you're Hispanic, okay, nature, this is going to be your your color palette okay so it all varies in skin all right but notice I never took out the same base everybody's base is the same okay our pigment is made made up of these three colors okay so if you do not add yellow red or orange uh, to your skin tone you are going to miss the basic of the skin and you're going to be constantly blending and making more paint all right now if you are using your acrylics come up with a system okay usually like what i'll say is one drop of red one drop of yellow and one drop of uh orange um, for your base okay keeping it all even and then i would add a drop of black okay there is no brown in your kit okay so I would add a drop of black and a drop of gray okay and depending on how light your skin that you are looking at in your image I would add one to two drops of white okay okay make that a base figure it out okay so when you need to make more for every equation that you're doing so if it was one drops of everything and you need to make more of it make three drops three drops three drops three drops does that make sense and write it down it makes it a heck of a lot simpler okay to do that unfortunately I do not have any of those paints with me and I would do that if I could show you um, I'll probably have to make another video uh, for the future with that kit. Okay. Now, so let's start. Let's start playing with the colors. Okay. So I'm gonna make what we call a baseline. Okay. Of variances of color, and this is this is kind of important. Okay. So I'm gonna make one line, two line, three line, and there's a little bit of stuff on this, so I'm gonna kind of clean it off a little bit because I don't want that green to show up it's from prior usage uh, get a paper towel here just kind of clean off my yellow okay so it's back to clean again okay so I'm gonna do three lines there one two that looks better so we'll forget that one okay so we'll do three lines here, two lines, one line, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna do, the red looks a little dingy, so I'll clean it off too. Back to clean, okay. One, two, one, two, one, and one, okay? So now I'm going to take my orange, okay, and clean this one off. It has some green in it from when we used it last. Okay. Come over on the sides here. Okay. Now, comes in my white. Okay, so for the top part, I'm gonna add some white. Now it's hard to see on the sheet, I know, so I'm just drawing a little square around this shape. And then here I'm gonna do a lot more white in the mixture. And this time I'm gonna do an X going right across. X going right across, X going right across, okay? Making my thing nice and dirty at this point. Okay, we'll clean that off later. Now, I'm gonna add a hint of gray. Three dots, 
two dots, one dot. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to add a line of black, a line of black, a line of black. I'm not going to add any black to that one. Okay. Time to get my water and my brush. So I got my little paint right here. Okay. Gonna get a nice little brush. This one looks nice. So I can mix it up and see what I got, okay? Now when I mix this in, just kind of mix all those colors around. And I'm starting to get kind of a muddy tone. I'm not getting a super strong tone in there. Let's see what this one looks like. This one should be a little bit more orange colored. Okay. That one looks a little bit more brown when you look at it. Let's see what this one looks like on the side. Okay, they're fairly even. Let me see if this one looks a little darker. That one looks a little bit darker, just a hair. Now, if you're colorblind, this is going to be the most difficult thing for you to see. So do your best. Now, this is a really close to a tan color. So I'm going to put my skin up. This is fairly close to mine. So let's see. When I put it on my skin, I don't know if you can see that, but it's really close to my skin tone. So I don't have very much gray or black in my skin. So let's take this brown that's here. And let's see. That one's actually even closer. It's a little bit lighter here. That's actually a little closer. So I do have a little bit, just a hair. So let's see what this dark, dark looks like. Okay, now that feels a little too dark. So my medium one is the best one to go for. Okay, so right here, so that was three lines of yellow, and then it was two lines of red, and then that one was one orange on either side, and then a white square that went around with an X across it. So if I was doing my skin tone, that would be my base, okay? Now, when you look at this, it's all piled up. So we wanna look at this, what happens when you paint with it, okay? So right here, this feels too light against there, see? Over here, feels a little too dark. Now this might be a good range for my shadows, okay? Using my skin tone. Now, let's go with a little bit darker, okay, this time. And I'm not going to use that brown because you guys don't have that in your paint kits. So I'm going to go back in with the red and orange and hit it again this time. This time, I'm going to hit a little bit more red here, a little bit less. Okay. So let's go with the darker. So yeah, let's just go right over top. I think it works better when it goes on top of the mixture. Hit a little bit of yellow. You gotta have the yellow. I'm gonna do a lot of yellow here. Mixing that in, okay? Now, just taking that straight, not adding any whites or darks. It's a very reddish tone, okay? That red is really powerful and pulling it out. This time it's a little bit more orange. It's getting a little bit lighter. And there we got a lot more yellow because I dumped a lot more yellow in, okay? So I'm getting a little bit of a transition, okay, going through. So I'm gonna take my white and I'm just gonna put a bunch of white next to it.
taking this red on top of that white. And that right there feels really nice. Nice little blend, okay, at the top there. Bringing it down a little bit so you can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one. This one is more like my cheeks. Um, I have a little bit of roseola, so my cheeks get red um, really quickly, especially um, uh, when it's hot outside. I get, I get night, I get red when it gets a little, when I get warm. And there we go. That one feels good too. It's very similar to this one. Now, watch what happens when I hit it with the yellow. Okay, so now I'm getting like a nice yellow tone. Okay, so that feels a little off of most people's skin tones, okay? But if I add a tiny bit, I'm gonna do it right in between there, just a tiny bit of green, okay? With that yellow tone of white, I'm gonna mix it in ever so slightly, just kinda get it right in my color. You're getting this kind of like greenish okra color. And now I'm going to put that on top. Okay. And I might need to add a tiny bit of white. New setup so you can see it a little better. So I'm just going to dump some white down. Taking that green. Add some water. Put a little more green in it. Get it nice and green. Now I'm going to come over here. And this kind of color you're getting right here, it's a very light greenish color. All right. That is coming out. Now, this kind of color I'm making right here, okay, is closer to people of Asian descent, okay? Um, might have a tiny bit of brown mixed in. So let's. Add that little bit of brown from over there. Yeah, there we go. And that right there feels very kind of an Asian feel where it's a little light skinned, but it has that little bit of greenish hue to it, okay? And it's very faint. So if you put that green right on top of your drawing, that's too much. So you need to mix it and then paint it in. All right, now, <clears throat> so, looking at this, okay, let's go, so we have a little bit of dark, let's go really dark now. Okay, so I'm going to scoot this over. So, I'm going to add a hint of purple, okay, in two of them. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of blue. Not gonna put that other blue in. I'll put this blue down here. And I'm just gonna hit that blue right here. Okay. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of green. A little green. Okay. Now on the outsides of this, I'm gonna mix my orange. And orange has the reason I use the orange. It's an even blend of my yellow and red. Now at the bottom, I'm gonna do a little yellow, little yellow, little yellow. Little red, little red, little red. So I'm getting this like lovely little kind of color chart going here. Now, on the side, I'm gonna put a little bit of gray where it's a nice mixture of white and red. Nice even mix. A little bit there. Okay. And over here, I'm going to add a little bit of black. Not much. Okay. Take my paint now. And mix that together. And at first, it's going to look like a really funky purple. Okay. when you hit those colors together. All right, and that's fine. That's what you're wanting. This one, it's kind of got a nice brownish purple going there. 
down here. This is a nice rich brown kind of color in that water palette going right there. Now, come over here, hit it with just my gray, put some water down, mix up my gray pigment. Okay. I'm going to take some of that color and I'm going to push it in with that gray. And as I look at that gray entering that pigment, I'm starting to get a little bit of more of a purple hue. This is a really good shadow color that's starting to form as I come in here with that gray now. And that's just getting a little richer from the little bit of black. Okay. Now when I hit that black and I put that black into this bluish purple, all of a sudden that purple disappears and it really does give a nice brown kind of black feel okay with that little bit of color all right so in here this works out really well if you're um, dark skin toned African American okay to light skin toned but a lot of people think I'm dark well the truth is you're not as dark as you really think you are you're a lot of people at school that I see they're african-american they're more in this range with that hint of green put into their skin and when I tell people that oh you got a lovely green kind of hue about you well what I'm looking at is is the baseline of your skin tone well we had a little issue with the camera so <clears throat> I didn't know that it wasn't recording, so lost a tiny bit, so so excuse the uh, jump from a uh, huge transition here. So, <clears throat> now, last I was talking about is African American skin tones. So now let's, let's start talking about um, people that are Caucasian, okay? So we're going to put a lot of white down on the base here. So I'm just putting three, four little spaces. So I'm going to do a little bit of orange, a little bit less, hardly in at all. Okay. A little bit of red, kind of hit it a little more and just a little bit. And I'm going to add a little bit here. And that's basically it. Okay. <clears throat> now, Hit with my white on there. Now this is a person that's extremely pale. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to hit in here. So when you look at this color, at first it's very um, pink color. And when we're children, this is kind of what we kind of understand Caucasian skin tone to be. And when you look at that, that's really not quite right. That's more like what I consider like lip color to be. All right. So let's do this one again. It's more on that pink scale, but a little bit less. It's, it's like a lighter version. Okay. So over here, now this tone is getting to be a little bit more of a pink hue, okay? And then here, let's just take this white, and it's almost a little hard to see on this paper, but here, if I add a little water there. Now this color is a very light skin kind of a color, all right? Can you see the difference? Yeah, you can see it on there. All right, so that feels pretty good on skin tone. So it's very little red to get that tone. Now, if I added a hint of blue underneath each one of those, okay? Now I'm gonna bring that blue in. And when I do that, all of a sudden that color turns a little bit of a purplish nature, but it's still quite light. Okay, let's go over here. Let's do that same thing. Let's bring all that water in there. Maybe add a little bit more. And then again, it, it changes it almost identical with this. Okay. But remember, it's mostly white in this skin tone. 
But now when I add that blue to this, that's a drastic difference change. And it was just a tiny bit of blue. And it was that light blue I was using. It was not a, not a heavy blue, not a cobalt blue, but a very soft blue. And by adding that blue, we immediately change that kind of Miss Piggy pink to more of a flesh tone. Okay, so blue, that little bit of a hue blue gives it a little bit of a cooler color. And that's the, the trick on skin tone. Now, if I was to add a drop of black at the top, go back in with my white, and immediately I'm getting a hue of a darker shade. All right, come up in here, let's move that in. And there you go. So you start to see the tones start to blend in a lot better there, okay? So this gives you like what I would consider shadow tones underneath the neckline, uh, anywhere like underneath the nostril, uh, going into the lip. This is a really good transition, just adding a dab of black to your base color. All right. Now, if the person has a little bit of a suntan, all right, and a little bit more than what you're seeing here, if you add a hint of yellow or uh, orange, and then let's go in and say you did have a brown. Let's say let's add a drop of brown to this mixture. And it's starting to dilute a little bit. So I want to make sure I can get all the pigment in there for this example. But as I start to do that with that little bit of brown in there and that little bit that was left in here that was red, all of a sudden I'm getting the same color, but it's just a light shade of a darker na nature, okay? And you can start to see the transition there Okay, and as this dries, it will change drastically. Okay, get a little bit brighter or a little bit darker. Uh, it's always darker uh, until it dries. But <clears throat> when I look at those tones, okay, that's for a very pale person. And then as if you were to go in for a little bit darker, that's when you can add, if you have a brown, a straight brown, or mix in your yellow and red together and just get a consistency of a brown tan color that you want. If they are more <clears throat> red skinned, then you want to add more red. If they're more olive and yellow, you could even add a hint of green to that as well. But <clears throat> I would say out of all the spectrum, okay, the darker your skin, the easier it is to get the tones and have more tone value. The lighter your skin is harder because a little bit will change it drastically. A little drop will go a long way, okay? Now, in my next video uh, portion, I'm gonna be taking the image that I was, that I drew out last class, or last time period on my recording, on my transfer, okay? I'm going to color this. I'm gonna do some drastic colors. So it has some oranges. I'm gonna try to emulate it as close to the original image that we had done with the cutout. So, so I'm gonna take, this is, so it's gonna have some similar natures, but it's gonna be a little bit different, okay, for the next part, all right? So, I'm probably gonna go a little bit more on the uh, browner tones in here, uh, maybe a little bit darker in the hairline, less orange, a little bit more brown okay but remember my color chart okay how I set up my colors watch the video on how to blend colors all right make your base first set it up make sure it works okay do a couple little tests all right um, so make small amounts because versus when they're fully finished okay you want to make sure it's the color you want. I always say take a scrap piece of paper and then just kind of make an equation. How many drops of that? How many lines of that? If you're using this kind of a pet, uh, watercolor. All right. 
Again, you could do color pencils if you needed to to do this project, um, or you could do the cutout method. Okay. Um, either way, it's a good it's a good learning lesson how to do uh, tones and values. All right. Well, on that note, okay, on to the next video.